For Beale's explosive ordnance disposal technicians, training is a team effort. But when an incident occurs off base, it means working with more than just the airmen beside you. On May 5th, Beale and Travis Air Force Base EOD traveled to Clear Lake, California to participate with several local agencies for the exercise, Operation Half-Life. The training op like this is really beneficial for us because we're working with other services, the Army, CST team, we're working with civil authorities, fire department, police department. And so for your normal training that we would do at the shop, you don't always get that. So now it's great to see how they operate, what type of equipment they get to use. I think just working in that joint environment is one of the greatest things about this training up. Led by the 95th Civil Support Team, Operation Half-Life was designed to evaluate a synchronized multi-agency response to two major incidents that occurred in the Lake County area. EOD's work came halfway through the day after the Sheriff's Office created a perimeter around a building known as the Bomb Factory. EOD technicians carefully scouted the building and made their own means of entry. The abandoned building used for the exercise allowed EOD techs to perform real-world operations without concern of damage to property, a part of their training that they don't usually get to execute back on base. They had all the entrances pretty much blocked off, so we had to create a different entrance into the building and uh, came in through the wall or through the, a door that you know normally you wouldn't be able to open up because it's locked, And but we found our way in. At the end of the day, Beal and Travis EOD were able to disarm and deactivate all known mock IEDs, including a radioactive dispersal device, which finalized the completion of Operation Half-Life. Reporting from Clear Lake, California, I'm Senior Airman Benjamin Buganig.